The submandibular duct or Wharton duct or submaxillary duct is one of the salivary excretory ducts. It is about 5 cm long, and its wall is much thinner than that of the parotid duct. It drains saliva from each bilateral submandibular gland and sublingual gland to the sublingual coronal at the base of the tongue. Structure It begins by numerous branches from the deep surface of the gland, and runs forward between the mylohyoideus, euglossus, and genioglossus then between the sublingual gland and the genioglossus and opens by a narrow orifice on the summit of a small papilla at the side of the frenulum lingua. It lies superior to lingual and hypoglossal nerves. Function. This is the duct from which a hungry person, preparing to take a first bite of food, might accidentally eject a spray of salivary fluid, or, alternatively, intentionally do so in a process called gleeking. History. It was initially described by the English anatomist Thomas Wharton and is sometimes referred to by his name. References. This article incorporates text in the public domain from the 20th edition of Gray's Anatomy. Wharton's duct at who named it? 10 Kate's Oral Histology, Nancy, Elsevier, 2013, page 255, Wharton T. Adenographia, Sive Glandularum Totius Corporis Descriptio. London, Wharton pages 128 to Euro 137. External links, Anatomy Figure, 3403 05 at Human Anatomy Online. SUNY Downstate Medical Center, medicalmnemonics.com, 329.